हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल सूरज इन क्लाउड इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सीन द बेनिफिट्स ऑफ डिप्लॉइंग क्यूबरनेटिस रिसोर्सेस यूजिंग टेराफॉर्म इन दिस एपिसोड विल एक्सप्लोर द डॉक्यूमेंटेशन ऑफ दिस क्यूबरनेटिस प्रोवाइडर एंड वी विल सेट अप अ बेसिक एग्जांपल ऑफ द क्यूबरनेटिस प्रोवाइडर ऑन माय डॉकर डेस्कटॉप and in upcoming episode we'll explore more things and uh, we'll also try to set it set it up for a uh, eks cluster and other mechanisms as well so let's get started so if you go to terraform registry and uh, go on a browse provider you will see there is a kubernetes provider available which is official maintained by hashicorp right now if we go on to the documentation you will see the how to use the provider uh, documentation right now when i say how to use like similar to how when you run a kubectl command against a cluster you either pass the kubeconfig file or you pass in some tokens and certificates or any other mechanism like all that mechanism goes uh, into the provider with, with which we tell the terraform how to interact with the cluster right if you click on the use provider you will see a snippet which defines the dependency for the kubernetes provider and the provider configuration which we will now define uh, before going to the demo uh, if you see on the left hand side you will see a api group along with their versions now if we go to apps v1 you will see this daemon set deployment stateful set if you go to patch v1 there will be cron job and job one thing uh, and also similar if you go to core v1 you will see namespace pod and persistent volumes right now this one thing if you notice for every resource this underscore v1 for example with the namespace and what does that mean is community decided to put a api version as a suffix now namespace is part of core v1 so namespace underscore v1 now similarly if we go to auto scaling v2 you will see auto scaler underscore v2 right uh, it's it's uh, preferred to use the one with the version right now also if you go to the guide uh, you will you will see the provider setup using kubeconfig and other mechanism which we will explore in uh, upcoming videos right now let's copy this snippet for now and uh, in my main.tf i will add it okay now for the provider uh, i'm using the docker desktop so similar to the configuration which was here i will just copy paste this in here now i do have configuration present at given path let's check uh, dot cube slash config i have my cube cluster here and my current context is docker desktop so let's update it to docker desktop nice and now if i do terraform in it it will download the provider okay it is successfully initialized that means the provider has been downloaded if you see the dot terraform directory you will see the provider binary over there right i okay uh, i will comment this for now and now if i do terraform plan now there won't be any change because we we haven't defined anything but it didn't throw us an error that means it is able to connect to the kubernetes 
now for a example in this video we are going to create a namespace okay uh, this should be underscore v1 as we discussed and if you have a terraform vs code extension installed you will get the auto completion as well nice now if i do terraform plan you will see it is trying to create the namespace okay now if i oops if i check for the namespace there's no namespace with the test ns available now if i do terraform apply it will show me the what changes it is making it's just creating a namespace want to add and i'll say yes and it will create the namespace right now you must be wondering what's the added benefit here right so the benefit is every time i add something it will say that you are changing this and we'll see exact difference now for example what we will do is we will go to namespace and let's try and add this label okay so let's try and add this label okay and now if we do the terraform plan you you will see the diff that we are not adding anything we are not destroying anything we are changing and we are changing the label so it's very easy to see what exactly you are changing okay and now if i apply or oh, not kubectl <laughs> if i apply this and yes you will see that some time back my namespace was created and if i describe on that test nest you will see that label is present right now what we will do is we'll do the similar thing with yaml file for now so let's destroy our setup for now and let's see let's do the exact same thing with yaml okay okay it is now destroyed now i do have my yaml file here okay i do kubectl apply ns.yaml i did created the namespace and now i will add some label my label label and i applied it i couldn't see any drift what if there's any change or anything it just applied right but it works now somehow i want to change the namespace name right now in kubernetes basically if you change the name what it will do is it will create a new namespace so let's say i want to change it to this okay and now if i apply it now it created a new namespace but in that what happened is the old namespace is still there which i don't want and i have to manually go and clean up the old namespace which is test ns right now this is just a one example of namespace but imagine you have multiple resources you have to go and do the cleanup for the everything right so that's the problem with the yaml now let's see if terraform solves the problem for us okay let me do the cleanup first test and this one yes now we have clear environment now let's go back to our terraform example and now test ns and label value so what we will do is terraform plan it tries to add a namespace let's apply this yes and if we do kubectl get ns our namespace is created right now 
similarly what we did with yaml i will change the name of the namespace and let's see what happens with the plan now if you see it is saying the resource must be replaced because we are changing the name and it is replacing and one to add one to destroy that means it is adding a new namespace with the name as we saw but it is also cleaning up the old thing now if we do this yes nice now if i do kubesheet will get ns you will see the old resource old namespace has gone and the new namespace is there so that's how we have seen in this episode that how we can uh, define a basic provider which can work with your docker desktop or minikube as well and we took an example of namespace and how managing a Kubernetes resource with Terraform uh, makes a difference as opposed to managing it through YAML, right? Now, there are various options to do this, but in this particular video series, I'm going to focus on Terraform. Hence, we'll talk about benefits of Terraform. At some point, we will talk about the Helm, uh, provider as well in the Terraform and we'll also discuss about the downsides of the Terraform. But uh, for now, uh, if you like this video, uh, do like this video. If you haven't checked the previous video, uh, do check out. It's in the playlist. And if you are the new to my channel, do subscribe the channel as well. Uh, thank you so much. Have a nice day. Bye.